good morning so this is my outfit for today we just have this red thrifted sweater and this dress tights boots Steve Madden and I'm excited for my day I'm going to the Louvre Museum today and honestly I have not had a croissant yet because I've been waking up so late so breakfast time is over by the time I get there and I'm excited to have my outing today and have my really crunchy ASMR croissant <laughs> Hopefully my jet lag is fixed. This museum is giving me very men vibes from New York, but tell me why it's so huge. I can't even find the Mona Lisa. Last time when I came in 2019, it actually wasn't even here, so I've never seen it, but I heard it's very popular and crowded around there. This long line to see the Mona Lisa. Oh my god. Lisa, thank you. Global warming is such a horrible thing, but I really cannot complain because last time I was in Paris was in 2019 and it was literally at the same time, like October, like this, and it was freezing. Got to wear a scarf jacket and now we're just in sweaters long sleeves and it's not cold at all which is very surprising it's like perfect fall slash spring weather and i love it now i'm going to this food place it's called la rue montaguer something like that i'm trying my best to pronounce french words but i can't but just gonna check out the air good morning i feel like if you wear a beret in france that's like a dead giveaway that you're actually not from there so this is my first time actually looking like a tourist i feel like but i'm not mad you know my partner's sister got this for me from paris last time when she went so i feel like very fake parisian today but today is another museum day i'm just so excited to like book my days with museum because that's truly how people should be living and not worrying about the capitalistic life but i am eating some leftover pasta so i'm going to the picasso museum today and we're gonna just you know have a slow day look how cute this painting class for kids is I love children in art. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, I love the Louvre Museum. It's so crowded and it's very hard to get through the whole thing. It's impossible actually to thoroughly go through the whole thing and as an artist obviously I want to read everything in depth but it was just too big and I had no time so I was very anxious. Also I had no time to actually sit down and make art. But this museum is just so much more peaceful, it's less crowded and I actually have time to think and it's just less extensive which I love. I love how thorough the people here are with checking bags. I feel like when you go to the Met they check it really quickly but without really caring here especially the Louvre yesterday they had like a whole TSA type of machine that looks through it and I feel like that makes my anxiety less crazy because it's much safer in here
the way my B reel goes off right when it's nighttime, and obviously I'm not gonna be in Paris alone at night. So my B reel every single day, it's like 3 p.m. in New York, but here it's six hours past. So it's always night, and I'm always posting the same thing, and I look like a loser even though I'm in Paris. So here I am, just waiting until the B reel goes off, even though I don't know when it's gonna go off today. But I'm just hoping that it's gonna be when this view is in the picture. This is the Notre Dame post fire. I got snails for the first time and I am excited and obviously some French onion soup. I don't even know how to eat this, but I'm excited. Snails were good, kind of tasted like clams or oysters, one of those. It took a while for me to figure out how, how to eat it. I actually had to search up a YouTube video, but it didn't load, so I figured it out with my big brain of mine. And my B-reel went off. So here's a picture of me in front of the Notre Dame. So I actually did something today and people can see it instead of me always being on the couch just editing and doing work when I'm at home. Good morning or afternoon. We got a simple fit on today. Very cozy and actually very winter-like because again, it is raining in Paris. I wanted to try out some blue icy eyeshadow today. I usually don't do blue because it doesn't really complement my skin tone, I feel like. But you know, we're in Paris, so when in Paris, we experiment with fashion, with makeup, with all of that. And today we're gonna go to the Grand Mosque to check it out. It's apparently really beautiful. I think it's the biggest mosque in France and I got a lot of recommendations to go there. And we're also gonna go to the Saint Chapel. But since it is raining, I'm not gonna be you know, trying too much to do a lot of sightseeing and being out. Also, my stomach is grumbling, so I'm ready to go. Look how empty the streets of Paris are today because of the rain, I think, and also because it's a Monday. like this and it's raining and you're in a whole you know foreign place with, without knowing anyone it forces you to find the beauty in different things because you're just not used to it and also it just shows you how much you don't know I feel like a lot of us when we live in the same place forever or even you know in our late teens and early 20s we feel like we know everything we feel like we know the whole world but this just forces you to really take yourself out of your comfort zone and just learn different cultures and languages it's amazing also I'm hopping and popping I'm going to